exploring the beautiful city of Ranchi in this video. Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I thought of taking you guys with me to tour around Ranchi. So I'm starting this video with one of my most favorite places to eat here and I'm sure it's also a local's favorite. It's called Punjab Sweet House. It's here since 1948 so you know it is legendary. There are a lot of things that are famous here but right now it's kind of lunch hour. So I'm starting with Chole Bhature and also a little bit of Khasta Kachori. So this is the plate of Chole Bhature. In one plate you get two Bhaturas. The size of the Bhaturas is quite a bit and and this is the chole. You also get a little bit of pickle on the side and some onion. I think a lot of people who used to stay in Ranchi and have now left the city, they kind of relate to this place. I remember showing this in a previous video and so many people who were from Ranchi actually said that it brought back memories. I also ended up trying the khasta kachori here. It's a first for me. I've never really tried it before. It's got a moong dal filling inside. Mm. I think as the name suggests, the speciality of this is the flakiness and you can definitely feel a lot of that like the covering is really thick and the filling is a bit lesser comparatively I think if you have it with this potato sabzi which they give on the side then it might be a little bit more flavorful Ending this whole ordeal with a little bit of gulab jamun I think it is their speciality here and it's actually quite good The next place that I'm at is called Tagore Hill. Now this is famous for its association with the revered author Sri Rabindranath Tagore and his elder brother Jyotindranath Tagore. On the way to the hill you'll also see the Ramakrishna Mission Ashram and this is one of those few places which is literally in a local town, Morabadi and very very close proximity to Ranchi and you can literally just come here. There's no entry charge, there is a parking ticket of about 20 rupees. This is actually famous for sunrise and sunset views. but. Pretty Pretty much any time you come here, if you climb right till the end, you'll be able to see the entire Ranchi city. I'm getting ready for another day out of shoots and my job can actually take a toll on my skin. Shooting in extreme sun or even in cold, erratic weather conditions and even aging. All of these can be battled with just one ingredient, vitamin C. So this product here is my skin's defense. The Garnier Vitamin C Bright Complete Serum. Vitamin C is known to have an instant brightening effect, revive dull skin and help get rid of spots. I was actually recommended this product by a friend and when she realized what my skin goes through when I'm shooting at all of these different locations, she said, you need this. We're starting this day at Rock Garden and the minute you enter Rock Garden, you'll see a restaurant called On The Rocks, but I'm not able to go inside because they didn't let me reserve and now they don't have a table. But for now, let's just head inside to the Rock Garden. I think if you're looking to enjoy beautiful views, lots of lush greenery, very very close to Ranchi city, then the rock garden is a great option to come. There is an entry fee here of about 30 rupees per person and of course there's a separate parking charge as well. But once you walk in here, you're like amidst the rock formations at Gondia Hill. It just is a very very relaxing calming experience. It's quite nicely maintained, relatively clean and the view from here is that of Kanke Dam. You can just see the entire dam. I don't think the dam may feel this magnificent when you're going really close to it as it feels here from a height. So I definitely recommend coming here and enjoying the greenery and today the weather is like hill station weather so it feels like I'm on top of some mountain and enjoying the fresh air. stop for a quick bite and I'm here at the Backyard Cafe. Place has a very very nice vibe. The minute you enter, they made it really cozy, really cute. They have a lot of different kinds of food, so this is what I'm going to be having today. I'm starting with soup. This is Manchao soup. Feels lovely in this weather. bit 
different than the regular manchao soup. It's a little low on soy sauce, but a little bit more higher on chili kind of flavor, but really nicely done. Then I ordered a seasonal speciality, palak corn sabzi. And the palak and corn sabzi look so luscious and creamy. And this I enjoyed with some garlic naan. In terms of pricing, I found it extremely reasonably priced for the quality and the quantity. So this is my source of antioxidants for my health and my skin. And actually, my skin does get its dose of antioxidants from a very potent source, the Garnier Vitamin C Bright Complete Serum. This has 30x vitamin C than most market serums and is extremely lightweight and is actually a non-greasy formula. It is also free from sulfates and parabens and suitable for all skin types, including my hypersensitive skin. So today I'm starting my day by visiting the Sun Temple here. Even Ranchi boasts of a Sun Temple and this is just about 40 kilometers away from main Ranchi city. It's actually located in a town called Bundu and the temple is dedicated to the solar deity or Lord Surya. From inside, the temple is completely marble, so in this season, it's feeling all the more cooler. And there are various other idols inside. There is Ganesh Ji, there is Shiv Ji. And from outside, you can see this structure with seven horses and the chariots have 18 wheels. And this is a very unique architectural design representing Lord Surya riding a chariot, symbolizing the seven days of the week and the seven colors of light. Ranchi is known as the city of waterfalls, so I'm taking you guys to one in this video. It's called Dasham Falls and it is very very close to the city, barely about an hour away. The road to get here is really beautiful, winding road, trees on both sides and there's also dedicated parking and stuff. Then there are steps to go further down. So I hear there are about 300 steps to go down. Oh, I'm just going to be taking the steps and getting down to see that view. Almost done climbing down the 300 steps and we are really really close to the lowest point of the waterfall now but from here I can just hear the sound of water gushing and it's looking so beautifully blue-green. Actually in the monsoon season the waterfall comes with much greater force, probably much more magnificent to look at but it can also be slightly muddy so if you want to enjoy clean waters then this is the time to come. as I can possibly get to the waterfall and behind me you can see the gushing water. During the monsoon season, it's impossible to sit where I'm sitting but right now I can just park myself here, enjoy the view, enjoy the sound of water. I feel like Dasham Falls is supremely scenic. In terms of steps, I feel it's very doable and even if you don't feel like climbing down all the way, then there are various viewpoints where you can just stand and watch the beautiful water flowing. For now, I think I'm just going to enjoy the view for some time. Today actually felt like such a fulfilling day, there was good views but after all of those steps and everything, I am tired and most importantly, my skin is tired. So we could do with some extra TLC. So I have just cleansed my face and I'm going to be using the Garnier Bright Complete Vitamin C Serum at night as well. Vitamin C as an ingredient can be used in daytime as well as nighttime skincare. Sometimes when I need like a little bit of extra TLC for my skin, I use it in my nighttime skincare routine and when I'm doing that, I'll follow it up with like a heavy moisturizer 
and in the morning when I wake up, it almost feels like my skin has had like a special kind of facial or something. So this is how my skin is looking like the next morning. So fresh, so plump. It feels like I've had some special pampering session. Today's day we are beginning at a very very beautiful location. It's just about 39-40 kilometers away from main Ranchi city and the drive to get here is also pretty scenic. There's one point, it's just like trees and trees on both sides and the road is really nice and smooth and here we are at our destination. This is Jona Falls, one of the many beautiful waterfalls that Ranchi boasts of and this is probably the closest one to the city. The minute you enter the Jona Falls area, there is an entry fee per person of rupees. 10. Then, if you are coming by a private vehicle, you will also have to pay a parking charge of about rupees 40. You get inside and there's a lot of climbing down. So, you're climbing many, many stairs down to get closer to the water. Now here, after climbing down all of those steps, I've reached this area which is like one of the best picture points of the area. So behind are the waterfalls, below me is the gorgeous water and here I am standing and talking to you guys. So the day has started off on such a beautiful note, the air is fresh, it's not yet that sunny. We've actually got ourselves a little bit of a picnic here, now we're going to go down, sit and enjoy some food. I got some samosas packed from a shop called Uday. I like this place for their snacks, especially samosa, cutlet, aloo chop, and even their sweets. Samosa from Uday with this view, so beautiful. This is an all year round waterfall. I've come here in the rains and I'll show you guys a clip. That time it's even more force for the water, but even right now, it's very, very soothing to listen and even to watch. Climbing down is easy, but climbing these 700 steps back up, oh, nani aada jati hai. Any trip to Ranchi is incomplete without indulging in Litti. So whenever you come here, make sure you have this local delicacy. Litti is famous in Bihar and probably a little bit in UP. But in Ranchi, there's one Litti shop that's supremely famous, which is Bhola Litti. And this is how they serve. So I've broken a piece, dipping it in the chutney, taking a little bit of aloo ka chokha. The flavor of mustard oil in this is just so apparent. That's what is there in the aloo ka chokha. Slightly spicy, but yum. 90 rupees a plate for the one with ghee. Totally worth it. Another thing that I like here is the dahi Excellent, excellent. One of the better dahi vadas that I've had in my life. They top it with chutneys, jeera powder, so good. So I'm just getting ready for my last day of exploration for this video and I'm going to be taking you guys to the lakeside today. I'm really excited to go there. I've just changed and show you guys my outfit in a little while but first let's just do some skincare. So I've actually finished my shower and I've finished cleansing my face and all and I'm first going in with the Garnier Vitamin C Bright Complete Serum. Then I'm going in with moisturizer, following it up with sunscreen and this is me completely ready. The formula of the serum is just something that I cannot get enough of. It's a combination of vitamin vitamin C plus niacinamide plus salicylic acid and the consistency so good blends into the skin just gets absorbed so easily another plus point is that it is so reasonably priced a 50 ml bottle costs rupees 875 and a 30 ml bottle costs rupees 550 and it is cruelty free i'm going to leave all the details of the garnier bright complete vitamin c serum in the description box below if you are looking for a vitamin c serum that can brighten your skin and do much more then definitely give this one a try it's just about to be sunset hour and right now I'm near Ranchi Lake. You know, supposedly it's like in the middle of the city, but the minute you step here, there's like this peace, there's this calmness that kind of takes over. And you can of course see the statue of Swami Vivekananda in the distance, which is a recent addition to the lake. But now this entire area is kind of coming to be known as the Swami Vivekananda statue lake area. Right now, seeing Swami Vivekananda's statue right in the middle of the water body is actually reminding me of my time in Kanyakumar where also there is a huge statue right in the middle. Let me actually go inside and see if I can head in.
So there's a very nicely made walkway to come to the middle of the lake and get closer to the statue. The statue itself is humongous. It's about 33 feet and it's all bronze. Now this is an absolutely free of cost tourist attraction. You can come here during sunset which is when I am here at and witness the nice serene atmosphere, watch the ripples in the lake and calm yourself down then maybe get a refreshment or two. much bigger according to me in Ranchi is a place called Churuwala. Now this place is very very different in terms of its flavour. I feel like to bring a little bit more Marwari flavour to the table. That is one of the reasons why I like it. It's different and it's quite tasty. The thing that's famous here is actually their breakfast. So they have this really nice elaborate breakfast thali meal of sorts. I have only heard of it. I haven't yet tried it but let me know if you guys would like to see it so I can try it and share it with you guys in a video soon. But for now in the evening I'm having Garma Garam Akkodi. Now these are actually Chana dal bhajiyas. They just remind me of the Zaveri Bazaar bhajiyas for some reason. I think the Marwari touch is a common element here. This is one plate of it. They've come piping hot. I'm just going to go and have one. Dip it in their metha chutney. Exceptional. There is a really really strong flavor of ajwain inside. Carom seeds. First I thought they've actually put the ajwain leaf but it's actually whole carom seeds and I think a little bit of coriander. The flavor is just so on point. Even the texture it's amazing. It's not like overly crunchy or crispy. It's perfectly done. There are also a few pieces of ginger and they give that perfect hotness along with the ajwain and coriander. There's also little bits of chilli. If you get that piece, it does feel a little bit spicy. And with the chutney, by itself, goodness. Now I'm trying the matar kachori. Matar is peas, which is currently a seasonal vegetable here and because of winter, it's available everywhere. This is kachori made out of that. There's a very thick covering made of maida or refined flour and inside there is mashed peas and whole peas crumbly mixture made of that. Of course, there are spices in it. And this they actually serve with this potato sabzi on the side. Here I've seen in Ranchi that kachori is always served with aloo ka bhaji. I think most prominent is the flakiness of the kachori. It feels like a khasta kachori only. The outer part is just the perfect flaky, the perfect crunchy. And inside the stuffing, I feel like it should have been more in quantity. It feels a little lesser. I think I like this one a little bit better than the Punjab Sweet House one. This and the aloo sabzi is a good combo. This place is also really famous for its sweet and they actually have a whole section of different types of rasgulla. There was a mint one, there was a rose one, then they have malai sandwich, there's gulab jamun, kala jamun, moti chur laddu. I just decided to stick to something simple which is rasgulla. I know a lot of you guys are going to come at me for breaking this and eating it but it's too big to be had on its own. It's nice. It's time to try the kalkati. As you can see I've already had a couple of bites. Uh, this thing is something that my team member ordered and I didn't intend to have it but I ate one bite and I really like it. It's feeling like a mix between a rasgulla and a malai sandwich. It's a very very different texture, it's a very very different feel. So I walked towards this one place that I've seen on Google and that's how I actually figured out a place called Ramu Chaat. Now he has been around for at least 50-60 years I think. The Tikkiya Chaat here is supremely famous so I thought of coming and trying out. The Tikki is very nicely fried of course. It's topped with chole, chutneys and the real flavour in this is from the chutneys, the jeera powder on top and thin long strips of ginger. Give it that nice hot flavour. This costs 60 rupees, it's a full plate. You can also buy a half plate for 30 rupees. Another thing that I tried here is the papri chaat. So yes, that was it for my exploration video in Ranji. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what you have to do. Hit that like button, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel because there is one more video coming up from Ranji. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in that one. Bye!